This is problem 54, part A of chapter 21. Um, the problem gives us a straight non-conducting plastic wire of 8.5 centimeters. Um, and it carries a charge density of 175 nanocoulombs per meter distributed uniformly along its length. Um, part A is asking, find the magnitude and direction of the electric field this wire produces at a point six centimeters directly above its midpoint. All right, so we have this point six centimeters above its midpoint. This is a positive charge, as we can see. So we're going to have all of these electric fields um, coming from all the points on the um, electric on the wire uh, coming out in this um, direction away from the wire. First thing that I'd like to do is figure out what the charge is, the total charge is for the wire. Um, so in order to do that, we need to figure out, um, we, we need to calculate it from the density. We know that lambda equals the total charge divided by the total length. So when we do that, we have 175 times 10 to the negative ninth for the nanocoulombs. This is the point. Equals Q divided by 8.5 centimeters is 0 0.085 meters. So then you should get a Q of about 2.06 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. All right. So now that we have our Q, I'm going to refer you to um, problem number 90 for chapter 21 where I derive um, general equations to determine um, what the uh, electric field components are for um, a straight uh, wire or a straight line of, of certain density. Um, so when we have these equations, if you look at um, problem 90, um, we have a, a density that's along that's vertically, and it's at a point, a distance away, and we're, um, we have equations that solve for uh, EX and EY, given any um, point along the x-axis. Um, so if you go to that uh, problem to try and find the um, the equations you're going to find the ones I use today are going to be inverted or uh, reversed between the x and the y because now our um, conducting uh, our length is on the x-axis instead of the y-axis. So um, there's two things to observe here. Uh, one is that the uh, equations will be flipped because it's now along the x-axis and the other is the part in the problem where they say that the point is at the midpoint of the wire. So when you have a point at a midpoint of this wire, you have half of your electric field pointing up and to the left. And you have half of your electric field pointing up and to the right. So you're going to have electric fields this way and this way, and then some directly up, and they're going to fan out. So anytime you have all these angles between, you're going to want to do it component-wise, so that way you can figure out the total net uh, electric field. But since this is at the midpoint, anytime when you break this up into components and you have an e of x going this way, on this side there's always an e of x of the same value in the opposite direction. So that way they cancel. This is only because if this is in the midpoint of the wire. If this was anywhere else other than the midpoint, um, the electric fields in opposite directions would not be the same magnitude and they wouldn't cancel. So knowing this, all we have to do is uh, calculate the component of the Y component of the uh, electric field. 
So going to that uh, problem 2190, uh, we know that the equation for the y component of the electric field is equal to kq times 1 over y y plus y squared plus a squared. Um, y being the point, um, the distance that uh, the shortest distance between the point and um, the wire. So let's go ahead and plug everything in. We have our constant k, which I'm not going to write it out. It's 8.89 or 988 times 10 to the 9 uh, newtons times meters squared divided by coulomb squared. Our q is what we uh, calculated, 2.06 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And then we have our y. Uh, so our y is 6 centimeters, but we need it in, met in meters. So it's 0 0.06 meters. And then we're going to times that by the square root of 0 0.06 meters squared plus our A. Our A is the total length of the wire and that's in centimeters as well so we need to convert it again to 0 0.085 squared. And when you do all that calculations you're going to be 4.197 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. And this, so this is the Y component like I said, our x component is going to be 0 because they cancel. So the total net uh, electric field is going to equal ex squared, oh, the squared, ey squared, e squared equals 0 plus ey squared. This implies e squared equals e y squared. Take the square roots of both sides. E equals y, e y. So our total electric field is this. That's it for um, number 54, part A. Oh. And also the um, the direction. This is the magnitude. The direction uh, is just directly up because um, it's only the y component, and y is directly up.